We begin after previous events in the world of Sanctuary, where Prince Aiden of Condurus, son of King Leoric, defeated the demon Diablo, and then attempted to contain Diablo's essence within his own body. Afterward, Aiden became corrupted by Diablo's spirit, and is now known as the Dark Wanderer, causing more demons to enter the world around him and wreak havoc. An adventurer who passes through a rogue encampment hears these stories of destruction and attempts to ascertain the source of the evil, discovering it involves the seven great evils of hell. Soul stones, which are magical stones created by the Archangel Tyriel to contain the souls of demons, were originally intended to imprison the prime evils, Diablo, Lord of Terror, Baal, Lord of Destruction, and Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, after they were banished to the mortal realm by the lesser evils, Andariel, Maiden of Anguish, Duriel, Lord of Pain, Belial, Lord of Lies, and Asmodan, Lord of Sin. With Diablo's corruption of the soul stone he's imprisoned in, he is able to control the Wanderer and is attempting to free his two brothers, Baal and Mephisto. Baal, contained within a soul stone driven into the ancient mage Tal Rasha's body, was imprisoned in a tomb near the desert city of Lut Golain, while Mephisto was imprisoned in the jungle city of Karast. The Wanderer is accompanied by a drifter named Marius, who follows him on his journey to these locations, with the adventurer trailing close behind. The adventurer travels into the ruins of Tristram, a small town in Condorus destroyed by Diablo's influence and demons, to rescue Deckard Cain, a member of an ancient order of mages known as the Haradrim, formed and tasked by Tyriel to protect Sanctuary from demons. The Wanderer orders Andariel to corrupt the Sisters of the Sightless Eye, a group of rogues, and take over their monastery. The adventurer encounters Andariel in the lowest steps of the monastery, surrounded by her minions, and kills her before continuing to follow the Wanderer eastward. In Luke Golane, the adventurer discovers a Herodric scroll in the city's sewers, which Cain deciphers, providing knowledge regarding Baal, Tal Rasha's tomb, and the Herodric staff that can be used to gain access to it. After searching the desert, the adventurer acquires the two pieces of the Herodric staff, the Amulet of the Viper from the Claw Viper Temple, and the Staff of Kings from the Maggot Lair, along with the Herodric Cube from the Halls of the Dead, an artifact capable of transmuting objects placed within it, and uses the cube to reassemble the pieces into the Herodric Staff. With the staff complete, the adventurer searches the desert for the entrance to Tal Rasha's tomb, but the Wanderer and Marius arrive there first. Just before the Wanderer can remove Bale's soul stone from Tal Rasha's body, Tyriel appears to stop him, and the two begin fighting. Bale, having corrupted Tal Rasha's body, tricks Marius into removing his soul stone, freeing him, and Tyriel commands Marius to take Bale's soul stone into Hell, where it can be destroyed upon the Hellforge. The adventurer locates the tomb entrance, and upon opening it with the staff, encounters and defeats Duriel, before freeing Tyriel, who was imprisoned within by the Wanderer and Bale before they left together in search of Mephisto. The adventurer continues to follow their trail by taking a boat to Karast, where she learns that Mephisto was able to corrupt the High Council of Zacharum, a religious order, and take over the region, turning his prison in the dungeon below the Travancall City Temple into his lair, known as the Durance of Hate. The only member of the council who remained uncorrupted, Kalim, was killed by the other council members on Mephisto's orders, with his body parts scattered throughout the jungle and his flail weapon kept by one of the members. The adventurer scours the jungle, collecting the flail, eye, heart, and brain of Kalim, before using the Herodric Cube to transmute them into Kalim's will, an enhanced flail capable of destroying the Compelling Orb, an artifact which Mephisto uses to control Zachramites and prevent unwanted access to the Durance. Meanwhile, Mephisto is rejoined by the Wanderer and Bale inside the Durance, where the three open a portal to Hell, the Wanderer sheds his human form, regaining his true demonic form as Diablo, and goes through the portal. After fighting her way to the Durance, including the temple entrance guarded by council members, the adventurer arrives and defeats Mephisto, who remained behind to guard the path to Hell, takes his soul stone, and enters the portal, following Diablo. The adventurer finds Tyriel at the Pandemonium Fortress, last outpost of Heaven at the Gates of Hell, and uses it as her base of operations while pushing further into the area. Journeying through the Plains of Despair and the River of Flame, the adventurer reaches the Chaos Sanctuary, where she must activate five seals and defeat their protectors in order to gain access to Diablo. After a difficult battle, the adventurer manages to slay Diablo and destroy both his and Mephisto's soul stones on the Hellforge, preventing their return. Marius, now in an asylum, explains to a robed visitor, whom he believes to be Tyriel, that he was too weak to enter Hell as commanded, and that he fears the effect of Bale's soul stone on him. He gives Bale's soul stone to his visitor, who is revealed to be Bale himself, now in possession of his own soul stone, and he kills Marius before setting the asylum on fire as he departs. Bale then raises an army and attacks Mount Ariat, seeking to corrupt the mythical World Stone, a huge crystal-like artifact with the power of creation, used to create the world of Sanctuary and the Soul Stones, hidden away there, where barbarian inhabitants have been tasked with defending it for many years. Upon returning to the Pandemonium Fortress, the adventurer is informed of this development by Tyriel, who opens a portal to Haragoth, a stronghold on Ariat in the northern Barbarian Highlands. Upon arrival, the adventurer is initially met with distrust by the barbarians, and aids them in their fight by killing demons, freeing their people, and defeating Shank the Overseer, leader of the assault in the Bloody Foothills, slowly earning their trust. The adventurer then learns that Anya, the daughter of Ost, a slain Hargoth council elder, has gone missing after an argument she had regarding her father's death with Nilothok. 
another elder, and so goes searching for her. Finding Anya imprisoned by a freezing curse deep within an ice cavern and rescuing her, she informs the adventurer that it was Nilothok's doing, and that he has made a deal with Bale to spare Haragoth in exchange for the Relic of the Ancients, a holy totem which allows unchallenged access to the Worldstone Keep at Ariat's summit. The adventurer locates and kills Nilothok within the halls of Vought in an attempt to retrieve the relic before the exchange, but finds it has already taken place, as the relic is not on his corpse. Journeying to the summit, the adventurer activates the Altar of the Heavens, resulting in an encounter with the spirits of the Nephilim, or Ancient Ones, who are three legendary barbarians, Talik the Defender, Madok the Guardian, and Korlik the Protector, whom she must challenge and defeat, as they guard the World Stone, allowing only the worthy to pass. After defeating them, the Ancients warn the adventurer that Bale is already inside the keep, and has blocked Tyrael's spiritual presence from entering, meaning she will have to face Bale alone, and if she fails, Bale will achieve his goal of completely destroying the boundary between Sanctuary and Hell, allowing the demon's full forces to enter the world. Fighting her way through Bale's hordes of demons in the keep and reaching him at the innermost throne of destruction, the adventurer faces off against several waves of his minions before he enters the portal to the Worldstone Chamber itself. Following behind, the adventurer battles and defeats him, allowing Tyrael to enter the chamber, who explains that the world soon has already been too corrupted by Bale, and so is beyond saving, leaving Tyrael with no other choice but to destroy it before it shatters the boundary between Sanctuary and Hell, despite leading to unknown consequences. He opens a portal for the adventurer to escape through, before empowering his sword and hurling it into the world stone, causing it to crumble and explode. <laughs>